My girlfriend just came in. This is my girlfriend. If you don't know. Hey. Hey, the one. I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> Hi guys. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you. You're welcome. How'd your stream go? Ariane. Anyways, so that one VOD commenter that asked if my, uh, for some reason, if my boyfriend was Mac from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. No, I actually haven't. This is actually my partner, Amy. Hi, VOD's channel. Hi, VOD's channel. VOD's channel. If you're watching this, comment your favorite emoji. VOD's channel, if you're watching this. How about your favorite Super Mario character? <gasps> That's actually better. Mine's Toad. Yours is Toad. Mine is Rosalina. Or Daisy. I'm a Daisy enjoyer. Daisy! Daisy! I love looking at the VOD comments. Also, guys, check if you're following the- they're subscribed to the VODs channel. Because you might not be subscribed to the VODs channel. Also, check if you're following my Twitch, which is where this was streamed live to. You should go check that, VOD viewers. Or- People watching this. I know. Anyways, wait, why am I blue? I mean, oh, why are you blue? What happened? <gasps> slur. What they call The F slur. They called you. They called us the F slur. They called us the F slur. Yeah. Let's make out. Kidding. Sorry, mods. I'll leave you alone. Okay. Sergeant Quacken. Call your ban was a sorry neg. Ow. I I ke I kept on. Oh, you banged your head. Hi guys. Hi guys. Wait, Scott! Scott's here! Where is my baby? Scott! Scott, I love you! Aya! Guys, I love you too. I started playing- we- I started playing in a campaign that Scott's Major is DMing, and it is so fun. I've been enjoying. We've had one session, and I'm excited because it's like a proper. It's proper. It's a. It's what if someone's like you wanna go play D and D? What I imagine is what Scott Major did that day. Why is my chat off to the side? It's throwing me off and it's upsetting me. Totally stream it. No, I need hobbies, guys. I need hobbies outside. I'll make art of it. I have a really cool character that I actually want to do an art stream of and explain to you guys. But. Why is Danny DeVito's mouth open? Because during my last subathon, Amy decided it would be funny to poke a hole in his mouth and then stick her tongue out from behind. And also bent him in half. So he's kind of just leaning against the wall now. I think when we go to the new house, I get a new cardboard cutout of a new character, a new person. I think that's the plan. I think also I'm probably going to do an Amazon stream when I get to the new house. Where I give you guys like a budget. And you can design my office. But I'm giving you a color palette. Because there's no Sham having random sh stuff in the background. Get one of Amy. I don't think they're... Can I see if there's cardboard cutouts of Amy? Cardboard. Cardboard. Amy Z. There's not. There's a photo of Amy with Obama. Make one. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, guys. We'll see what happens. Listen. Today, 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 
for doing some art. The last time I streamed art was a long time ago because uh, my PC broke. And the other PC decided, you cannot stream art. No, no, no. So now that I have my PC working again, it's art stream time. Also, guys, I've been so productive today. Just so you all know. I woke up at quarter to three. Which wasn't the best. And then I had a bit of breakfast. And then I was like, I'm going to record today. So I recorded for two hours. I also did other things that I forget that I did. But they were important. I did a TikTok. I made a TikTok and I uploaded it. I had a blood test because I might have PCOS. This is my biggest advice for you if you're getting tested for PCOS. Request a scan. Be like, hey, to your doctor, I would like to go to for a scan, right? Because that's the only way they can confirm if you have PCOS. And I was going for blood tests routinely for two years. Like, I was... like. Every couple, like every like two months, I was going for blood tests. Go, go get, go, go be like, hey, can I get a scan? Like, can you scan down there and just check what's going on? Because they can do that. They can just be like, beep, boop, beep, boop. It's like the one that they get for the pregnant ladies. What are they called? Sonogram? Is it a sonogram? Ultrasound. I got an ultrasound, guys. That's how I got diagnosed. But she looked at- I, I, Fun fact, one side of my body has- One side of my ovaries has PCOS, and the other side is prone to cysts. The other type of cysts. So I get tiny ones on one side and the big ones on the other. So I get the best of both worlds. That's what my- My ultrasound lady said to me. And I was like, oh, thanks. Thanks, babes. That was great. So. <laughs> Just like Hannah Montana and this is a weird combo. No, it's not. Why is it weird to talk about health? You think that talking about PCOS and ovaries is weird? Then maybe you should get. It's natural, not weird. Exactly. It's like if I spoke about getting my lung scan, no one would think that's weird. But suddenly when it's my ovaries, oh. That's weird. I'm like, guys, I went to get my lung scanned. You guys wouldn't care. You guys be like, oh my god. That's crazy. And then if I'm like, guys, I got my ovary scanned. You're like, ah! Oh, you can't say that! That's weird! Also, I understand some people who... I, I've spoken to, um... What's it called? I've spoken to some trans people about PCOS and stuff. Um, cause for someone who is trans that I know has PCOS and they were saying how, like, they used to be really uncomfortable by talking about it because it was very dysmorphic, which I completely understand. But if you're like, that's weird, don't talk about that. Because it, like, not for that type of reason, like, not because it makes you feel dysphoric. It's just another organ, babes. Really? And I'm very open about talking about it. So, it's sorry, you're good. You're good. Anyway, who do small? I don't have organs. That's so fair. Yeah. Off topic, but rattling bog on top is so true. Love the art streams. We're 10, we're 12 minutes in and I've not even started drawing. Oh, <gasps> guys, I'm so, ex I'm so excited. Hold on. I'm so excited. Because I spent about 30 minutes, not even 30 minutes, probably about 20 minutes. Um, let me real quick connect my iPad. What are you drawing today? I need to check the tweet. I'm pretty sure I'm drawing AS and P Gucky. Because people were like, why AS and P Gucky? Why is it upside down? Is it because it's flipped upside down? Hello? Why are you flipped upside down? Why are you the wrong way? There we go. That was weird. Um. 
Let me go check. I'm gonna quickly run and check. Not run and check. I'm gonna just go check. Because I did a post and I was like, you're most like, you're most like just once. Wait a minute. Sniff Snifferish responded. Consider drawing my wife. Why oh, she kind of... That's 41 likes. <gasps> Wait, no, ASP Goki off 55. We got ASP Goki is so far the most liked. ASP Goki is still the most liked. There's a lot of people who commented ASP Goki. If you don't know who ASP Goki is, it is the character that I played yesterday on Amy's stream. So we're gonna draw ASP Goki, I guess. But guys, 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 you're gonna you're gonna love what I've done. Wait, hold on. Can I turn on? I'm gonna turn on Do Not Disturb. What is on? Okay. I don't know if I'm still gonna get. I I recently downloaded Discord on my iPad. Notifications. Do not allow notifications. Okay. Boom! Look at this. Why are you? Why are you not working? There we go. I made a little, I made a little screen. I made a little, little art stream thing, but also my, for some reason, my iPad doesn't fit in it. Hold on. Where is my iPad? Where is the iPad? Is it art? It is art. Is that okay? No. Yes, no. There we go. Now it fits. I'm also going to edit my camera slightly because I didn't realize how tiny I look. There we go. Hi! Yeah, I made a little overlay thing. It's not the best, but... Until I make my proper one, I think this is really cute and it'll do. I just realized my camera is slightly off now and it's upsetting me. There we go. But yeah, I thought it was cute. I thought it was nice. I liked, I liked the idea because I saw, I was looking at a lot of artists on Twitch and what their overlays look like. Because I was like, I don't know what my overlay look like. Um, and a lot of them have this type of layout. And I was like, I'll just swipe it and make it my own. So if you guys can't see, that's chop there with a little point. Then I'm here. <laughs> the colors are giving air GMZ. These are actually my favorite colors. Like, this is my favorite color. I was going to make it pink, but then I was like, I don't know. But, anyways. This is this is the screen. We're currently using Procreate. I thought it was aiming behind you for a sec, and then I realized it was Danny. Yeah, they're the same height, so I understand the confusion. Amy stood next to Danny DeVito on the air, actually, because that's a life-size Danny DeVito. And Amy's the same height. But anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna use the round render brush, because I think it's cute and I like it. Okay. We're, it's Amy size! Guys, honestly, I am down to get a Amy, um... What's it called? I am down to get a Amy cut out. I think it's funny. Maybe I draw with technical pencil because I like it. Okay. So we're drawing AS Migoki. For some reason that's not showing up, but it's fine. So her silhouette. We're just gonna we're just gonna chat while I do this. By the way, guys, make yourselves a cup of tea. You know? Have a cuppa. While we chill and chat. Because today's gonna be a chill day, a chill stream. We got school, that's kind of an L. Not gonna lie. And then it's one of those you know those like coats that have like the little hook thingies? as the buttons i want a coffee i made myself a spearmint tea and this is a new mug that we got vegetable soup 
put this now vegetable soup in here. Get therapy for the first time? Nice. I still need to get a therapist. I've been too busy. Yeah. Hey, if you didn't see Amy's stream yesterday, I'd highly recommend going to watch it. It was a really fun. It was a fun one. Um, if you like lore and stuff, I think you guys are really gonna like um the Ames SMP thing that Amy's doing. Because I've been listening to them talk about it. Um and honestly, it is it is gonna be so cool. We did actually end up re-recording. Oh, this I like it in the uniform. We did end up re-recording the whole thing. So there is gonna be new details. I want her to have like boots. No, not those type of boots. More of a laced up type boot. I was gonna watch the VOD. Have a good nap. Amy's gone for a nap, guys. Of course. Amy said thanks for telling everyone. It looks kind of territorial. Well, she is a fox animal thing. So I feel like it's in kind of like a lot of animals' natures to be territorial. Especially when. There's something that they do not recognize in their space. And I know that they were new to that space, but it's still like nature and it's something that they haven't seen before. And they're kind of like, what the fuck is this? They also have a tail. I forgot to put that. I A lot of people liked the skin. Thank you. It, I think I, I it took me a while to make the skin, uh, but I'm glad you guys liked it. Um... Uh, how did you come up with a... Okay, so I turned to Amy and I was like, because obviously it's Amy's project. And I was like, what type of character do you want me to make? Like, want me to have? Um. And Amy was like, uh, I don't know, you can make it yourself. You can make it. And I was like, oh shit. Like, I don't... Well, I was like, I don't wanna... Like... I was a bit nervous. So I was like, uh-oh. But, and I was like, I'm just going to play a really annoying character. And honestly, how, how I, like, I just wanted to annoy the hell out of Amy. That was my goal. That was the goal of the, uh, character. And I feel like they, they succeeded. I do, do feel like they succeeded. Um. Ooh, that gave me a jump scare. Thank you so much for the raid, uh, Elson. Also, Amy, thank you for the raid earlier. And the Duncan, thank you for the, the sub. I don't know if I thanked you earlier on. Um. But you're not gonna get a Goki's backstory purely because you're not seeing the point of view of a Goki. You're seeing Amy's character point of view. So I was like, I want to make an annoying as fuck character, but also one that a lot of people can make theories on as well. Because I know a lot of the community thrive off of like that type of thing and head cannons and like mysterious things which is why i dropped a lot of uh info about them kind of annoying but also when i i wanted to i was so I, like adamant about having the first line because do you guys know that meme that is um what's it called it's uh and someone's like who are you but like what and he's like I'm the owner of this house or you like you know that meme that's that's like literally my first line in the whole thing because i was like i think that's really funny i'm the owner of this house you guys have any questions about a gucky i can answer Obviously, I don't mind answering questions. I'm not obviously going to answer, like, lore stuff. Like, about ASMP. But I'll give you my personal headcanons. Mm 
grass thing was so funny. I, it's because Amy said grass, and I was like, that's kind of funny. I'll make, I'll, I was like, I'll make a joke. Yeah, but my whole goal that stream was like, I'm going to annoy the hell out of Amy. Which, in the recording, I still do. Like, in the recording, my character stays the exact same. Um... need to repay my grass yeah my car like she was just like um like you annoyed me so like like you don't you know i saw like, a lot of people say that she's like a mix of con gucky and um what's it called and uh pirate gu pirates gucky is a gucky gonna be a recurring character well, we kind of set it up that she would be. Like, I'm a background character, essentially. Like, obviously, like, the character being like, oh, we'll make a map room and I'll, like, point you in directions and shit like that. Like, you'll see a Goki again, obviously. This art style is so silly. But the vibes I wanted to kind of do was similar to Red from Animal Crossing. Like, they're really like, oh, I'm being nice to you, so. <laughs> I'm going to change my texture of this. Yeah, I've never had, like, a slide type of character before. So it was quite nice to, like, play around with that. I've also, like... I don't know. I like... I quite like this character. I also love all the art you guys have been doing. Like, it's insane. You played her so well. It was more so me just being like, I'm gonna annoy Amy. This was funny. Also, I wasn't expecting you guys to cling on to the whole, like, the brother thing. A lot of you clung to that. Um. Which is cool. Because I did think, oh, yeah, thank you for the nine months, Ash. You notice details sometimes? Yeah. There's a lot of details that I did that you guys noticed, and I was like, huh, that's fine. I'd, I'd imagine she has oh yeah so i don't know a lot of people probably caught it obviously but she's an arctic fox like hybrid with like a humanoid thing not human but like probably like an i don't know like a like her species would be more like a they can present but i had the idea that she's like okay her inspiration for me was have you guys anyone who's played fire emblem so specifically from um what's it called specifically from fire emblem awakening there is a race called tagul tagul i don't know how to pronounce it but it's basically people who are like rabbit have rabbit esque features, but can also transform into like rabbit beasts. That's my kind of idea. Obviously, you're not gonna see it because it's in Minecraft. You're not gonna see her do that. But I like the idea that she can transform into a rabbit beast. A rabbit beast, sorry, a fox, fox beast type thing. Um, I love that. I get stage right. <laughs> One thing, I didn't realize that you guys couldn't see my face because I was tabbed out looking at bloody fox puns. You guys couldn't see my face the whole time. And I was like, oh, well. That's another reason why we re-recorded it because a lot of it, my face was covered by the hot bear thing, which threw us both off because it also happened with Amy. And it's just a mod pack. 
Rat SP Goki would be scared of ASP Goki. Rat ASP Goki would eat Rat SP Goki. Rat SP Goki would Being completely honest with you. Like, ASB Goki eats rabbits. Hey, Goki is such a mood. I think she's also quite interesting because obviously she's never seen a human before and it's like he's like i don't know how to kind of act about this thing this thing's kind of weird looking yeah i like the idea that a cookie's also a ho like ran away from home but her, she's just a little guy Do I give her freckles? No. I give her some hairs on her face, though, because she's obviously a fox. Yeah, this is what the look is. Um, The big puffy coat could be bigger. It's probably supposed to, it's supposed to be bigger, but... The leggings and then the big boots. This coat is also supposed to be longer. Make it longer. Why not? I can do what I want. This is my art. And then there's like animal fur on the top. Um... Yeah. This is a Goki. Love her. Just a guy, yeah. I also wanted to make a character design that was pure white. And I was like, an Arctic fox is pure white. And then Amy was like, yeah, make it an animal hybrid. Why not? And I was like, okay. <laughs> so. I like the idea as well of her having fangs. Like she all, all obviously has little fangs, but... I hate to see a fox being silly, it's so true. I'm surprised you guys liked them though. Not surprised, but like I wasn't expecting as much like... Like, oh my goodness. But then again, I underestimate how much you guys like me and Amy when, they're, when our characters dynamics uh uh, what's it called? Sorry, I'm opening my mouth so I can draw an open mouth. Um, I underestimate how much you guys care about when me and Amy have our character dynamic. Like, characters. You're all gay people. That was a joke, by the way. I know you guys aren't gay. You don't understand how normal I am about Sunship Duo variants. It's so silly. I'm glad you guys like like our character, silly little character, as much as we do. I'm gonna make her yawning in this. Yeah, because. Uh, she's a no naturally a nocturnal thing. Cause aren't aren't foxes naturally nocturnal? Am I wrong?
Uh, a bit more. I should probably be looking at a reference for an open mouth. <laughs> but I'm not gonna. You get the you get the idea though. That is shocking looking. Hold on, I need to look up a a reference of yawn. How has your day been today? Did I adjust my music? I did. But I didn't for a second. I was like, hold on. Yawn. He has fangs. Yeah. Yawn. Mouth. Okay, I'm actually going to use a cat's mouth as a reference. Because she's not human, so like, why would she have a human? No. Why am I struggling with this? I hate mouths. Well, actually, it should be this. It'd be this angle. I'm drawing that mouth on a different layer and gonna move it in. I'm doing digital art, which means I can do that. I've been doing a lot more um, traditional art recently. It's been fun. I enjoy digital art. Oh, traditional art, I mean. Um. Those are hell to draw, I agree. Especially when, like, it's stylized, because I feel like sometimes you're like, oh, I don't know how to draw this right. It's like, you could do a detailed mouth, but then it doesn't look right because of, like, the style. I don't know how this is going to look. See, that just does not look right. <laughs> Let me actually look up fox yawning. You know, I'm gonna make this... This is just gonna be her doing a little cheesy grin. Put her little tooth out. Like that. There we go. That'll do for that one. 
She's just a little fella, really. Okay, now I'm gonna look up a fox reference and draw her in her humanoid form while using the fox as a reference. Fox yawning. I'm just gonna actually draw a fox. That'd be kind of funny. Hold on. I'm gonna draw this actual fox yawning. One thing I've realized is Furry artists are insane, like, in a positive way, because I find it so hard to draw furry art. I had to do, so for the, the Particles for Palestine, like the last one that they did, um, the art I did was, um, like the, like the, the prize one was a, was a furry art thing, and I was like, oh, this is cute, I'll do this, this is cute. It was, it's insanely hard. So, like, I have a lot of props for, uh, furry artists. You get your back for a reason. That shit's hard, bro. What if I make it so that a, a, a gucky has a missing tooth? I'm just drawing the shapes in at the moment. That goes down. And then it curls up. Something I've been doing recently is I've been drawing a lot of animals in pen and trying to figure out their forms. Because animals are so interesting to draw. There's so many different shapes and sizes. If you're ever struggling, like, to draw, like, you're like, I don't know what to draw, just look up art, like, not art, sorry. Look up animals. That looks so goofy. I'm just doing a a sketch of a fox right now. I guess not even to do with a gookie. Sometimes it's good though. Draw out of your comfort zone. That's a big advice thing I'd give to people who are like trying to do art. This looks terrible, but I'll take it. It looks like what it's supposed to look like. Drawing out of your comfort zone, so then when you're done doing that, you can draw in your comfort zone. But also, you can keep drawing in your comfort zone if you want to. Like, that's completely up to you. Big yawn. Ah. That is just such a little goofy sketch, which I'm so down for. It's so silly. I like this this drawing though. I can do like I'm gonna put I'm gonna block in some color. From what I remember. Um, of a gookie's skin. So her jacket is actually like a, a very like light grey with a bluish like it's cool grey. From what I remember. A bit lighter than that, I think, actually. Hair's white, but I'll make it like a slight off white, just so it's like different. I don't know if that's showing up. I'm just holding my phone. We're drawing today. We're drawing a Gucky, which is a character that I played on Amy's server the other day. Yesterday.
These are the colors from what I remember. I'm so sorry if these are wrong. I have a terrible memory. And I made the skin like two weeks ago. Fun fact. No one, I think Star noticed it. Star Lua noticed the skin the other day. Other than that, no one noticed the skin. Uh, do you ever look back at the first art streams to see your progress? Yeah. I mean, I feel like this is huge progress from my Stardew Valley ones. It's because I've been frequently doing art. Um, like in my own time. Something as well, it's helped me. I did a warm-up earlier and it was my warm-up to- I actually warmed up before stream today. And it was my doing my TikTok. Like my TikTok today was my warm-up. So the brush I'm using to paint like this brush is the round brush and then the one i was using to sketch was the technical pencil it feels like a pen like an actual pencil which is what i like i but i like the texture that i did in this like i really like this piece i think i'm actually gonna do a proper piece with um with a gucky at some point of her just sitting in a forest um because i like that the patreon thing is like nearly done the i have a I, I do if you don't know on my patreon i do a monthly background like a monthly wallpaper and it is essentially done i just need to do a few minute last last touches um i was doing that today as well that's another thing i was doing it's different from what i've done before like i'm, I'm trying to do a thing where each patreon wallpaper is different from the previous um style wise as well I'm gonna try paint this in a weird way. Ignore me. <laughs> yeah, something that I've learned with uh because I, I tried for selling Yo! Jimmy Clips thing for the eight months. Something I was trying to do like for ages was like I was going on TikTok and being like, oh my god, what brushes do you use to different artists and stuff like that? Instead of actually experimenting with the ones that are on the actual, like, app already. Because I use Procreate, if you don't know. Um, and I think the two that I use are actual, uh, like, default brushes. Instead of looking for brush packs and seeing what other artists use, I just started exploring with the ones I had at my disposal already. And there is actually a good amount of them that are, um, like, really good. That makes sense. That's amazing. Thank you. I'm honestly just having fun with it today. Because we haven't done an art stream in, like, a good while. I wanted to get myself, like, back in. Into it. Hi, Setting Sunset. How you doing, lovely? Who is this? I joined not long ago. This is, uh, A. Gucky. From, uh, let me actually write it. I'll write it on there. This is a Gucky, who's a character from the AMZ SMP. I would actually like to make her an actual OC of mine, I think, because I do quite enjoy her. Um, or I probably will end up making a similar OC. I'm just drawing a fox down here, though, because I fancied it. Oh, cool. yeah. Ow. 
That's just a silly one. Okay. I want to do another little drawing of her. Oh, my Siri just got uh, thinged. Yeah, she's just a silly guy. Any, you guys got any questions about her? Any other questions? That I can't actually answer. I to be like, is she doomed in this universe too? Because I don't know. On my server. If they're gendered, they are female. They are female fox. Um, regarding pronouns as well, I saw someone asked that earlier on. They do go by any. But prefer, like, more gender neutral to, um, feminine ones. I don't like that tone of skin. I think I might change it. Oh, no, it's fine. Do you have a special like do you have a special sexuality? I meant them. I meant to they. I don't know. Let's make him a lesbian. Why not? Do I have lesbian characters? A lot of my characters are sapphic. Oh. I made this one. You can make this one uh Lesbian. I feel like A A M Z and A Gucky would fight like siblings. They are not siblings though. To A to A Gucky. Can we call her a different name? Hold on. Can I call her a different name for now? What will I call her? Fox. I don't know. The Fox one. Lesbian Fox. I like this little doodle. It's silly. Gay fox is so me. Alright, Guck and Aim gonna date at some point. And this for my mental health? I don't know. It's not. I mean, I'm all for doing the gay flirting and stuff. It's all completely up to Amy how the story goes, by the way, guys. Like, I have no say in what happens with this character. Well, I do. I hop in and I'm like, hee, little, little shit, little guy. Um, but it is ultimately Amy's. Have you planned out a, a, a ASMP Gucky lore? I've planned out a backstory. I have a backstory established. Um, whether you see that or not, I don't know. Like, I, a Gucky might say it to a, like... Tell bits and pieces to AAMZ. Like, you guys know that they have an older brother who's dangerous. I love this sketch. I'm very proud of this sketch. You ever, like, have a sketch and, like, wow. I cooked. <laughs> I like this sheet just in general, though. There we go. Oh, little guy. I love getting that feeling though when you feel like you've cooked with a drawing. Yeah. This is this is her. What's the older brother's name? You will find that out. If you wanna work on it my drawing, then do it. That's uh, that's part of the reason why I like to do art streams. Is because I know it inspires a lot of Sorry for the flash warning. Uh it inspires a lot of people to do art stuff which i'm like please go ahead and do it it's good it's good even do a little warm-up thing i'm gonna see if i can change the tone of this to a more bluish so it keeps with the theme no i liked it brighter it's cute <laughs> Guys, do we want to make a little a, a little emote for Amy's chat for ASMP? 
for a surprise. They're currently napping. We can make a little emote, though. Yeah. What type of emote would you guys like? Obviously, it's going to be Amy's little character. But... What would be an emote you guys use in Amy's chat? That would be the thing. Amy's character was silly. Oh yeah, also, I'm Amy's thumbnail artist for the ASMP stuff, by the way. together this is a really silly drawing He's just a little guy. <laughs> the my art, thank you. I enjoy art. One eye is bigger than the other. And have that. Guys, I've been addicted to Fortnite again. I've been addicted. I don't know how to stop. What's you guys' favorite part about the ASMP so far, by the way? Anyone who's been watching it? You Fortnite addict. I am. I really am. I love Fortnite. Not Fortnite racing. Fuck Fortnite racing. That broke my GPU. It's just a little, just a little guy. Have you tried Fortnite Festival? I love Fortnite Festival. I love Fortnite. I love Fortnite Festival is my game. Yo, thank you for the raid, Jer Jerm. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Gamora, Gamora, and Gamora ends Twitch. Gamora ends Twitch. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I know I pronounced that so wrong. Hope you had a good stream, though, lovely. What were you guys up to?
Guys, I'm gonna add this to Amy's chat before they wake up. Without telling them. I have their PC login. So I'm just gonna pop it on their Twitch chat. And you guys, if you guys are in Amy's chat next time they're streaming ASMP, then you know what to do. You know what to do. It looks so goofy. I love goofy emotes. I think they're just the best thing ever. I really do. Guys, you know what I can't stop saying? The, this is my alter ego. I need the max swing. I can't stop saying it. And it's upsetting me. It's all over my TikTok. And I'm like, stop it now. I, I just keep saying it. And I wish I could stop. Where's my... Yeah. Anyone else struggling with that at the moment? Uh, I, I heard abyss paint is good. I used to use abyss paint when I drew on my phone. Um, a couple of years back. I was using it for a while. I think from when I was like 14. This paint's been around for a while. I like Procreate. Really cause not it's Procreate isn't the best thing, by the way. It's not the best software by any means. It just takes a lot of boxes that I like and it has a lot of features that I like. I need to yeah. max win. I need to max win. <laughs> Thank you, child, for checking for the 25 months. Jeez, man. I need the max swing. Do you guys have any TikTok audios that you just can't get out of your head? Because for ages, mine was, You think you're the shit, bitch? You're not even the fuck. And I was singing that, and Amy was like, Please stop, please. Oh, where isn't it connected? Everyone's connected. Here. He's so polite. Uh, doesn't Abyss Pay have a paid and free version? Yeah, I used to use a free version. Um, they have a thing where you can... I don't know if they still have it, so correct me if I'm wrong. But they used to have it that you could watch ads to unlock brushes for like 24 hours. That was a thing. Am I thinking of the right software? little fella really i've missed making emotes i've filled up all of my emote slots guys like what am i supposed to do now they've given us 30 more emote slots that are animated which means i just have to animate my emotes but they take longer to do i like doing my silly little goofy emotes BTTV emotes, that's true. Yeah, I need to do more animated emotes anyway. I need to add the pop cat gucky emote that we animated that one stream. I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know how to export it. And I don't understand. I'm gonna have to ask one of my friends who knows how to use Procreate Dreams. That's what I used. My tummy's grumbling. Let's make dinner after this stream chat. 
I'm thinking I make a fry. Make a fry up. Even cookies out of emotes. I love all the emotes that we've made is the thing. Like, I like all of the emotes. Wait, this needs to be a... The sleeves need to be white. I'm gonna give him yellow shoes. Because why not? I know he doesn't have yellow shoes. But it's funny. Once the flat color is done, I'm going to... do what I do when I color my emotes. This isn't gonna look as good because I have pre-made shading colors. But I do this for all the emotes so they look cohesive. Lovely drama. Thank you. It's just my silly style, honestly. That's all it is. Just the silly style that I do. It's like I really enjoy doing the TikToks because I just get to draw my silly little style that doesn't take me too long to draw in. I've been really enjoying doing the animation TikTok, uh, the animatic TikToks. I wouldn't even call them animatics. Just little drawing TikToks. And they've been doing quite well, which I'm not going to complain about. Alright. What I'm thinking is I'm going to change the skin tone. To be more like Amy's normal skin tone. That looks so funny to me, but that's what... Um, I'll keep the hair color. You know what, actually? I'll change the hair color. Be more like Amy's actual emotes. I'll keep the rest the same. Just so it's more cohesive. With all the rest of the emotes. In the Percy Jackson show? I've not. Did I not? This is the... hmm. Little guy. Little guy, really. I forgot to do the little blush. I'll have to do the little blush, blush in a sec. Let me take it out. <laughs> Let me quickly do the blush. I did it with this color. Hold on, let me not clip this so I can know where I'm drawing. The little styles are great, like normal uh, good art is fine, but still, guys, son of my beloved. I love doing normal art, like like my normal style art, like a lot more like detailed and stuff. Um, but sometimes I notice I get too into it in a way where I nitpick everything and then I push it too far. Whereas with the silly Sona guys, I'm like, they don't have to look amazing, which is why I like them. I think that's how I did the blush. There he is! 
a little fella. I'll put that in Amy's chat later. He looks silly. But yeah. I think that's it for today, chatters. I am quite tired. And also, I need to do other work too. I need to make dinner. I need to finish the background for the Patreons. Love the Patreons. Thank you for Patreoning to me. Um, sorry for it being on the last day of the month, but I have not been able to do it. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed today's stream. I always enjoy the art streams. They're my favorite streams. Expect the art streams to be a norm. Our streams are going to be my normal streams. I This year, I am doing majority art. Um, and then some other bits in between. <laughs> Thanks for hanging. Isn't it crazy that January is basically over? That's so good. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. We're going to raid... We're gonna raid a friend of mine. If you are, if you are a normal person in the AMZ community, you know who this person is. We're gonna raid into Cosmic Grog. We love Grog. Grog is great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know today was a shorter stream, but also I want to ease myself back into doing art streams. I'm also planning a painting stream. There's gonna be another OC stream with Amy soon. I think that's on the 2nd? Or tomorrow? I don't know. It's some day this week. Uh, we're going to be making um, Adventure Time OCs on stream. Which is going to be fun. And yeah. Join the raid. My eyes hurt from my light. But I'm going to go and have food. Bye, make sure to have food and drink water and do all the good stuff. Bye.